when there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? No, wait, no, that's not it. Uh, okay, come on. Who are you gonna call? This house is clean. Okay, okay, I get it. There's lots of people we could call, but we're actually gonna call Ghostbusters! Hello there, my name's Miss Red Nebula, and this is a quick look at the upcoming Ghostbusters DLC they just announced for Planet Coaster. As we've seen for the past few days, King Ghoster has been making a lot of appearances throughout all of Planet Coaster's social media and stuff, and a few people correctly surmised, with no help from any outside sources whatsoever, that this might mean we were gonna get a Ghostbusters DLC. And as it turns out, we're getting a Ghostbusters DLC. This is going to be based around the 1984 version of the movie, and we are actually going to have Dan Aykroyd involved uh, reprising his character of Ray, and also William Atherton, who played Walter Peck. Yes, it's true. This man has no- So what have we got so far? There was every chance that this was going to be another instance of a, a sort of vehicle DLC, just like we got with the with the other ones with the Back to the Future and uh, Knight Rider and the Munsters. But it sounds like this is going to be much, much bigger and more involved than that. They are they're talking about there being a new scenario, but it's a story driven scenario that you'll actually be mentored by Ray. And there's also some mention of new gameplay elements. I mean, I'm not real sure what that means, but in the trailer we see things like trash popping out of the trash cans as though there's ghosts really up to some mischief. I don't know if this is something they're planning to incorporate in the actual DLC, but that would be a lot of fun if there were freaky happenings around your theme park and you had to deal with them. We know that Slimer's at least going to be involved in the form of one of the two new rides. We're getting a new kitty coaster called the Roller Ghoster that features Slimer. Uh, this looks like it's probably kind of a reskin of the Wendigo and of the Dragon coasters that we've already got, but that's okay. The Slimer, come on. The other one sounds really, really interesting. Uh, this is called the Ghostbusters Experience, and it's an interactive ride. So this is something unlike anything that we have in games so far. So I'm thinking things like the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters in Disneyland or, uh, in, and in Disney World, or any of the rides where um, I believe the Men in Black one in Universal Florida is like that. There is also actually a Ghostbusters ride in a park in Dubai that has a sort of a similar element. It's, it's very heavily screen-based. If we're getting something like this in Planet Coaster, there was talk of it including things like guests being able to see their score at the end of it. So I really hope that this is something we can actually ride and play ourselves. Just like you can drive the go-karts if you put in a special code, maybe they'll have something like that. I don't know, I'm getting ahead of myself. We do have mention of there being um, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is going to be involved. And of course the Ecto-1, the, the Ectomobile, the notorious vehicle from... Ah, notorious? Iconic. Iconic's a better word. The iconic vehicle from uh, from the original movie. And we've got visuals of the characters, um, and Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston, all with their proton packs, and they look great. Done in pure Planko style, but look at all of the detail on their outfits. You can see the ghost trap in the bottom of one of the screenshots. Don't know if there's going to be things like the containment unit, um, or any of the other characters like Dana and Lewis. I don't I mean... I know we're not going to get like Rick Moranis or Sigourney Weaver or anybody in to do any of the other roles. The only voice actors that they've mentioned having in is Dan Aykroyd and also William Atherton. And I don't know about Janine, or, or are we going to see Gozer? Are we going to see the Terror Dogs? I think if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of things like werewolves. This extends a lot to, and as I was growing up, I was a huge fan of any kind of special effects in movies, but most especially any kind of monsters in movies. So to me, the terror dogs are like the coolest thing in Ghostbusters. So I really, really hope that they're in there. If not, well, there's always that good old TMTK. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not saying anything, but maybe I'm saying something. I don't know. They did mention that we're going to get additional scenery pieces, which is awesome. We haven't had a scenery DLC for a while. And of course, anything that they put in, 
all of the brilliant planet coaster builders are going to use for everything but what they're supposed to be used for, so that's always fun. Gonna get sound effects, gonna get the music, obviously the actual theme song to Ghostbusters, so that'll be a lot of fun. I assume that they're probably going to kind of do like they did with the Knight Rider DLC and break out of the whole everybody's talking in Planko language. I don't imagine that they're probably going to have uh, Dan Aykroyd talking in Planko to us. He's probably going to be talking English, but I think we can probably let that slide, you know? I, I think so. There's one other thing that I wanted to mention, and that is that there's also a community challenge going on right now, and this is going to last between now and Tuesday the 28th of May. This is called Slimer's Takeover, and apparently Slimer is just making an absolute mess of Frontier, and our job as players is to collectively place 35,000 security guards in our parks. Now, obviously, no individual person has to place 35,000 security guards. That would be silly. But any time that you place a security guard, it will be counted. You don't have to do anything special. Just as you're playing your game, plunk down a security guard. Boom, that's one towards the 35,000. If we can get 35,000 security guards in parks by the 28th of May, there will also be an exclusive reveal unlocked. So whatever that's going to be, I assume it has something to do with the Ghostbusters DLC and is probably going to be a lot of fun. We don't have an official release date for the Ghostbusters DLC just yet, but the cost is going to be a little bit higher than the normal DLCs are, which makes sense. I mean, this is when you're dealing with licensing and all of that. It's, it's probably going to be a little bit more, and it, I think it sounds like it's going to be worth it. We've got $14.99 in US dollars or in euros and $12.99 in pounds, and that'll be that. And we should know more about the release date relatively soon, I think. So that's it for this one. Feel free to like or comment. And if you want random updates from my little world of art and gaming, subscribe. And if you enjoy what I do and are interested in supporting the channel, check out my patron. A big thank you to my current patrons. That's all for now, guys. Bye.